first of all just know that most schools here in germany do not ask for application fee so you can apply to as many schools as you want hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl here fidels and i'm back again with another video for you and if you are new here and haven't subscribed please do so subscribe subscribe down there and hit the notification bell just by the subscribe button so that so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to watch thank you so let's get right into today's video okay yeah before i start just know that university in germany it's free you don't have to pay anything but you need to pay a semester fee yeah the semester fee is between 250 to um, 350 euros depending on the school and i think my semester fee was around 250 euros if i'm not mistaken yeah and that's not really a lot so that's the only thing you pay to the university your semester fee you're not paying any fees just semester fee and for the semester fee it covers other stuff that you can do in the investing for instance in my university my semester fee actually covers my transportation i can take buses without paying i can travel outside my state to hamburg without paying that's just for my school i don't know how other schools operate with their semester fee so so with my actually i can actually have a semester ticket with my semester fee and other stuff so it's actually cool in today's video we are going to talk about how to apply to universities here in germany in my previous videos i talked about how to search for teaching free schools here in germany and in, in my other previous video as well i also talked about the blog account for your yeah, students here in germany so in today's video we are going to talk about application process to universities in germany for a master program yeah so let's get right into this video and before you start your application, there are some important documents you need to have. You need to have your bachelor's certificate. Obviously, you're applying for a master's program, so you need to have your bachelor's certificate. You need to have your university transcript. You need to have English proficiency and your high school living certificate. So for the English proficiency, some schools here in Germany would request for TOEFL, that's T-O-E-F-L, and then I-E-L-T-S. And some schools will just request for English proficiency from your university. In the case of you bringing to for IELTS, and those from English speaking countries are not really affected. But if you're not from an English speaking country, then they'll, they'll actually tell you to bring that. And those of us who also had a bachelor's in English are also considered to just bring in our English proficiency from our university. So that's for the English proficiency. And for the high school living certificate, it's just a certificate you get after completion of your high school. Well, in Ghana, we call it WASI certificate, and I don't know how it's really called in your country, so you can find out about that. And then you bring, make sure you have all those documents. Well, let me add this. For your documents, some schools do also ask for certified documents. So with these certified documents, they are requesting you to send your documents to your to the German embassy in your country. So the German embassy is going to certify on your documents. That's your transcript bachelor's certificate your high school living certificate and your english proficiency so you send these documents the original documents and photocopies of these documents to the german embassy and they will certify it for you so i would advise you make like four copies each of these documents you send all of them you book an appointment take them to the embassy and they they will take your documents and then they will certify it for you so you would come back after a week for your documents so that's how it is it's very simple that's for the certified documents if your if your school actually asks for a certified document this is what you should do send your documents to the embassy and they will certify it for you there are other additional documents your school would also request for that's a motivational letter yeah obviously they will ask you for a, or a letter of purpose so with this motivational letter it's just a brief letter that should talk about Give a brief background of your bachelor's program, why you want to study this particular master's program, why you would like to attend this, why do you want to study in Germany, what impact is going to have on your life, what's your future goals, how is the course going to impact your future career and all of that. So you need to put all of that in your motivational letter and make it, you know, nice and juicy for the 
I didn't straight I said that they were accepting to university because the motivational letter I believe plays a role in your acceptance in the university. You should really work hard on your motivational letter. And the other documents to your university would also might also ask you a recommendation. That's a recommendation from your lecturers from your previous university. They would also ask for that. So with that, you have to take it from your university or from your lecturers. Yeah. Some addi other additional documents are also like your CV, your curriculum vitae. Obviously, after your everyone should have a CV, so university graduate. So they would ask for that, and some programs would also ask you to send in a proposal of your final year thesis. This is just a brief, something very brief about what you want to do in your final year thesis. And the next question is, how do you? apply to these universities or well, in germany most schools in germany they have online application where you upload your documents you fill in the form it's online you upload all your documents and send in your um, application while some other schools would also request you to apply through posts meaning you need to send your hard um, documents your hard documents to the university through post and when you're sending your documents please do not add your original set your original certificate don't add your original documents because just make copies of it and send it to the school your original document do not ever make a mistake of sending them to the university make sure you always have with it just make photocopies and send it to the university while some schools would also we ask you to apply apply via online and also send the application through posts so it's either ways and some other schools too would ask you to apply through uni assist well with those schools you don't have to apply to them directly you need to send your documents through uni assist and uni assist is going to go through your documents and assess them see if you are eligible to actually apply to the school and with this uni assist it comes with a fee and for the first time if you are sending a document it's 75 euros and if you want to send another document to a different school that uh, that asks for uni assist, you need to pay another 30 euros. So the first fee is 75, the second fee is like 30 euros. So that's for the uni assist. So in Germany here, yeah, they usually have winter semester and summer semester. Or should I say summer semester and winter semester? So intake is in summer or winter semester. So there are some programs that are available during the summer semester some programs are also available during the winter semester so when you are searching for the schools you should look at these these ones which programs are available when winter or summer and see when you can apply and when you are applying for schools please check the deadline make sure you apply on time especially for international students it's really advisable for you to apply on time so that in case your school needs any additional documents they can contact you and you still have enough time to send in your documents so it's really advisable to apply on time. It's really, really advisable. I advise you to do that. And mostly, I know during the winter semester, a lot of programs are available. So there's a lot of intake during the winter semester. And if you want to apply during the winter semester, you need to start your application earliest by January. Start looking at the application deadline. You start your application by January. Then you can then apply for winter semester. Then you can also search. I don't, I'm not really sure for the summer semester, but um, yeah, you can search for that. Now, so after the long wait of application, you've sent in your documents, you've applied, you're waiting for a response from the school, and lo and behold, they send you an email that, yay, you've gotten admission. That's great news. Well, it's not actually difficult to get admission here in Germany. It's very easy. But a big obstacle is... You get a visa to come to study because you can get admission and you don't get a visa to come in you haven't arrived at anything so in my next video i'll be talking about how to prepare for your visa interview i'll talk about some of the questions i was asked i'll share with you guys so that can also help you when you're also going for your visa interview so i hope this video was helpful enough thank you for staying with me I hope you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up well i don't know my thumbs are so funny in fact my finger no, they're, they're just they're crooked i don't know why that's just by the way so just give my video a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe are you done subscribing 
thank you so thanks for keeping up with me see you in my next video ciao